I'm just focused on a lot of different things. So I just need to get back on track and narrow down my priorities. You know, balancing motherhood and entrepreneurship is definitely a challenge. So I basically have to figure it out all of my own most of the times and just puzzle with people that are available. What the heck is that? Pop oh my god, there's a bug there. What the heck is that? Pop oh my god, okay, I'm just sending my cat. Well, I need to keep my spirits high, keep my spirits up. <laughs> hey, you wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Uh. Hi. Uh. Hi. Say hi. Uh. I'm here with my little munchkin, my little girl. <laughs> She's the sweetest ever, so we're just chilling here. Um, and today is actually Sunday. So I decided to pick up my vlogging camera today because it's been such a long time since I made a video like this, okay? Like, when was the last time I did a vlog, actually? I don't know. It's been a long time. I actually did vlog uh, past few months here and there, but I never uploaded the vlogs because, I don't know, I was just not feeling my energy. Something was off in those videos because I was actually also going to a difficult time. I was extremely tired and this and that, so no. I don't want to put those videos up. So today I'm coming to you guys with new energy, new new positive vibes. Well, positive? Yeah, positive. Amari is actually with her grandmom. So she, she spent the night with her grandmother and i have my hands free <laughs> free of a three-year-old uh, but i'm actually also taking care of her as well here with me so i'm still kind of busy in mom mode um but she's super chill she's the chillest baby ever i don't have any issues with her like literally she never cries only when she's hungry or when she's tired so that's so easy okay um, so it's currently 11 o'clock. Um, she usually goes to sleep. She usually takes her nap around 10 o'clock, but this morning she slept a little bit longer. So her nap was postponed until one hour later, which is completely fine. Okay. Um, anyways, my house is a mess. I need to do something about the space. So I'm going to put her to bed and I'm going to come back and do something about this here. You cannot really see it because I'm not showing the mess, but it's just literally everywhere. The mess is everywhere. Toys, stuff, bottles, dishes, life of a mom. It's always something to clean up, okay? <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, Nia, say bye. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later. Okay, so um, baby's asleep. Yes, it took some time, but now we're here. Now I can take care of this, this right here. It's not that bad, but it's just, you know, I need to unload the dishwasher. And you know, while I'm gonna do this, I always listen to a podcast or some YouTube videos, motivational YouTube videos. Girl, I need to keep my spirits high, keep my spirits up, keep my energy positive because it can be a little bit hard sometimes, okay? So this is a podcast that I've been watching lately, Ghetto CEO. Love, love, love this podcast. It's about, you know, black female boss ladies, um, mompreneurs that have million dollar businesses that are very successful. Um, and they just talk about the struggles of being a CEO while being a mom, a wife, um, you know, a woman this and that just literally everything i love 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 it it makes me feel so seen the struggles that they have i can relate and that's why i love to watch these episodes it inspires me and motivates me to be literally the best entrepreneur mompreneur ever <laughs> but first things first i need to have a clean space in order for my brain to work properly so i'm just going to take care of this first uh I'm
feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Makes it better here she woke up so what I basically did was clean this living area the kitchen I took a shower had some me time did my little skincare routine and then she woke up so just in time literally just in time um, so mm, I'm about to change her <laughs> put some leggings on wait do this fit what size is this 92 this is size 92 that's not even possible we're all done yay <laughs> time for her potatoes i have here it looks disgusting <laughs> it is cauliflower potatoes and beef mashed I have to feed her like this because my high chair broke. If I hold her in my arms, she's like going everywhere and like it's a lot. She's heavy as well, so this is currently the best option for me. Till I get my new high chair next week, this is the way we have to roll. So the plan for today is, you know, obviously take care of her, but sneak in some work here and there because girl i still have to work it's a struggle i'm super behind of my to-do list and it's making me so frustrated it's so difficult to be focused while taking care of a little one because daycare is closed for one month <laughs> so i have to figure it out for one month like girl imagine if i wasn't an entrepreneur if i didn't have the option of you know building my own schedule being so flexible girl then i don't know what i would have done like you cannot just take one month off work because daycare is closed right the same goes for entrepreneurs you cannot just leave your work aside for one month and take care of your kid like it's difficult and because I'm the only entrepreneur <laughs> here in my surrounding, no one really understands the struggle. Everyone is just like, oh, but just take care of your kid and then work at the same time. How is that difficult? You're at home. Girl, <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm talking like this. That's so difficult to work at home while taking care of a baby or two kids. Oh gosh, two is even worse. You cannot get anything done when it comes to work. It's just real it's just real talk i only have a few friends of mine um i like i have a close group of friends they understand you know they know because all my friends are basically entrepreneurs um and moms even so they understand they know the struggle they know how it feels like so they know they understand but you know in my own surroundings it's just hmm, a little bit difficult so i basically have to figure it out all of my own most of the times and just puzzle with people that are available who can take care of this little one or that little one because yeah taking care of two kids at a time is also a bit difficult for some people so you know some people are only available for one kid or the other kid oh, so it's just always just figuring something out and freestyling with my time while trying to run a business it's a struggle you know balancing motherhood and entrepreneurship is definitely a challenge but you know i can do it 
it's possible. It's definitely possible. It's all about finding the perfect balance, which is so difficult, and organizing your time and be and setting boundaries. Oh my gosh, that's such a huge one. Setting boundaries with people in your surroundings. Because no, I'm not available all the time because I work from home. I'm not. I have to work. Like, I don't know. It's just a lot. Maybe I should dive into this topic in a, a whole separate video because I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> Trust me. Mm -mm. Currently, one o'clock, and I didn't eat breakfast yet. I didn't have lunch yet. I just drank a coffee this morning. <laughs> so my energy levels are kind of running low at this moment. Girl, I need to do something about this. Like, I cannot live like this. Why am I neglecting myself all the freaking time? Ah, oh, I need to take care of myself, I need to take care of my body, my well-being, my mental state. Otherwise, if I don't, this household is not going to survive. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> In the meantime, she's just enjoying her food. Life was good back then. No worries. Everyone's just feeding me, hugging me, taking care of me. <laughs> I didn't have to pay any bills. All right. She's playing a little bit. I'm working a little bit. There's a lot of stuff to do. So something that's super fun that I want to announce. So I'm going to just announce it in this video, but this is not the official announcement. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do a separate video about it, but I actually created some digital products and one of them is an an, an ebook, a workbook, a guide, a list. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oops. Hey! <laughs> she's still learning to sit, okay? So she's just like falling here and there. <laughs> Anyway, so one of them is an is a is a guide, an ebook, a workbook actually because there are actually because there are exercises in it as well that I developed myself. And it's a, an ebook and a workbook about launching your YouTube career and learning how to make money of YouTube and implementing the right strategies to build a successful YouTube channel. Okay? So I've been on YouTube for a long time. I never had a regular job, okay? I never worked for someone else. I've been doing this for four years or maybe five years. So I never applied for a job or anything after I graduated. Oh, okay, so after I graduated in 2018, I never applied for a job. I just went straight into this YouTube thing and I was able, and I'm still able to make a full income. Um, I'm self-employed, so girl. So it was about time that I created this ebook with all my knowledge because now I'm like ready to share. <laughs> Honestly, before that, I didn't really share that much about, you know, how I built this income, how I'm, how much I earned, this and that. Anyway, so before I didn't really share much about, you know, my specific strategies on how I grew on YouTube and I never really shared all the tea, all the details, like my specific strategy, my specific success formula on how to go viral, how to get content ideas, how to get really good content ideas, like not just random ideas, how to build your community, how to engage with your community, how to create content, like what are the requirements to create beautiful content that is going to resonate with your audience. And you know, I've been really into helping people and educating people lately. Uh, not so much, well, I should. I'm not so much focusing on my own channel, which I definitely should because I need to get back on track. I can go viral if I want, like I can, but it's just taking a lot of time, a lot of effort. If you will download my ebook, then you will definitely know that it takes a lot of effort and steps to get it right and at this time of my life i'm just like focused on i'm just focused on a lot of different things so i just need to get back on track and narrow down my priorities but anyways but other than that um i really spilled all the tea in my in my latest ebook so 
I will leave a link in the description box, but I will make an official full video about this um, later this week. So maybe the video after this video, but you guys saw it first, okay? But other than that ebook, I also have a list created with tons of content ideas in different niches, such as beauty, travel, lifestyle, family, motherhood, like ideas. I have a list of 300 content ideas that you can make for TikTok and your reels. So yeah, there's plenty inspiration in that list. Like even me personally, I gained so much inspiration from that list. Um, like currently I'm filming a lot of content. I'm, I'm pre-filming, I'm batch filming content and all like most of my ideas, all my, most of my content ideas come from that list, girl. You need to see that list, okay? So yeah, like I'm just really into this vibe of giving you all my information. I spent a lot of my time while I was in maternity leave uh, in the beginning of this year writing this stuff, but I just now finished it because I just wanted to make it perfect and accurate and I wanted to let people proofread it for all my grammar mistakes, vocabulary mistakes, but everything's finished now. So yeah, definitely confident to put it out there right now, but the official video is coming, okay? So yeah, definitely check the link in my description box. Um, and you can already purchase if you want, but more information is coming. Okay, so it's a little bit later. Um, her dad came actually, um, and uh, she, he took her. He took her with him, so I am free. <laughs> no, just kidding, like, no, seriously. So I just have a little bit of time on my hands because I really need to get some stuff done. So I asked him to take her, just like, let me just breathe for a second and just let me get some stuff done, okay? Because I actually need to film a video. And I wanna do that right now. So I wanna do that as soon as possible before they come home and disturb the peace. Okay, just kidding, not really, but still. So I need to make myself a little bit more presentable and put some makeup on. Um, tomorrow is wash day actually, so my hair is just in a bun. I will, I will still put my hair up in a bun, but in a nice bun, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna lay down my flyaways and my edges a little bit and just call it an a girl. And the video that I need to film is about the ebooks, right? Um, so where's my mirror? Oh, there. And the thing is, I don't want to film this video in my usual space, you know, my filming space, because I feel like I've done that so many times and I don't wanna. Um, I kind of want to film in my car. No, no, I shouldn't film in my car. I just should film here. Girl, what am I doing? Maybe I'm going to sit on the sofa. Maybe I'm going to sit on my couch and just put up a setup right there. Girl, where's my eyebrow pencil? If you know me, you know that I'm not really into makeup anymore. I used to be so, like, I used to wear foundation all the time, every day, all day, every day, but now, no i'm so done with foundation actually i'm not just kidding <laughs> i love me a good makeup session whatever like i really love that but i just don't have the time and i don't have the right makeup and i feel so lazy to go and go out there and find the right makeup for my face you know that's what's really bothering me actually like the inconsistency that i have in my days some days i have free time some days i don't sometimes I'm available for one hour sometimes like it's just all over the place lately and I really need to do something about it because I don't like living this way like now okay I have all of a sudden like two hours free like no kids around me and I need to do something about this you know you should normally I should go and sleep a little bit because I'm sleep deprived <laughs> been sleep deprived for three years but still normally i should go and sleep a little bit but i got stuff to do and that's how the cycle never ends i'm always busy like how am how am i going to take care of myself if this is always the case so i definitely need to set boundaries need to set clear rules for myself because otherwise i'm not going to succeed like i want to succeed okay like it ends now. What should I do with this hair? <laughs> this is a wash and go from a while ago. And yeah, I'm not gonna come on camera like this. 
<laughs> what am I saying? I'm not gonna go come on camera like this, but I'm already doing it, so. But I'm just not gonna make a video like this. Even though I want my hair out, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Kerastase Curl Manifesto Curl Refresh Spray. Love this stuff, it smells divine. And it makes my hair super soft. So I'm just gonna spray that a little bit around my hairline. And just to soften my hair because it feels a little rough. Oh, it smells so good. So now I'm just gonna take a comb. Girl, this is like my super quick routine for a nice messy bun. <laughs> gonna smooth my hair out a bit voila that's it <laughs> that is how I do my messy bun wait let me show you guys do I look good I don't know why am I even asking this I don't know, I would just want to feel like myself again. All right, I tried to film in my car, but all of a sudden it started to rain so hard and it started to get cloudy and dark. So it was not a look and the sound was terrible because you know, it rains and you're sitting in your car, you, you can hear it. So that was a fail. <laughs> I spent all of this precious time failing, but Anyways, it is what it is. I don't mind. Um, just got to film somewhere else now, somewhere else inside. I'm just going to put up a setup here. Just going to set up my lights and cameras and stuff here because it's dark. And, you know, when it's dark, you cannot really film. You need to have crisp lighting. And, yeah. So I'm just going to do that real quick right now. All right. Change of plans. I'm not filming the video anymore today. <laughs> I tried out some stuff and it's just not gonna work out now um, Plus my baby is coming home in like 20 minutes and I don't want to rush this video I want to feel good. I don't want to feel like this is just pushed out last minute, whatever So I got to take my time and today is not that day Obviously, so everything went wrong today. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna do something else um, I got to make dinner because I'm super hungry um, and in the meantime, I'm also going to edit some videos. Uh, I have two videos to edit, so I'm just going to do that, you know. And tomorrow is a new day. Just going to try again tomorrow. <sighs> That's life of a content creator. It's not always going to work out. Um, sometimes I have like this huge planning in my head. I don't want to do this and this and this today. But the guy was just like, no, today is not the day. Okay, okay. Um... I keep pushing myself all the time. So that's the most frustrating thing about me. I push myself all the time and sometimes I just gotta go with the flow. Uh, don't put too much on my plate and just do a few things a day and call it a day when those things are done. But me personally, the entrepreneur in me wants to hustle, wants to work 24 seven and that's super unhealthy. <laughs> that's so unhealthy. Yeah, I gotta do it. So for dinner, I'm gonna make some chicken thighs. I have some greens and then I also have some potatoes. They are still in the fridge with rosemary and salt. So I'm currently thinking about um, marinating the chicken. I was thinking about just using chicken spices, but I also had this. So first, I was like, let me just use my regular chicken spices. Then I was like, mm, maybe do like a teriyaki kind of marinade, some Asian flavors. But then I also had this never used this this was sitting in my cabinet and i was just like hmm it's with peanuts it's with soybean oil peanut powder sesame seed paste coconut powder salt okay so it is currently 10 30 in the evening girl i just had to regroup myself i was so hungry i made dinner just ate then I just relaxed you know I was just watching some TV I also when Nia arrived back home I just fed her I gave him her some milk she played a little bit and now she's like asleep she was so tired so that's a good thing um, she's a very good sleeper she goes to bed really easily I don't have any issues with that 
most of the time. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult here and there, but most times it goes smoothly and I don't have any worries about, you know, rocking her to sleep the whole time. With Amari, my oldest daughter, girl, I had to rock her to sleep every single time she needed to sleep. Every single nap, every single bedtime, it was just a mess. I had to rock her for like 15 minutes like this until she fell asleep and put her in the bed and it was so annoying <laughs> but with this one girl i'm i'm worry free i don't have anything to worry about anyways it's already super late i should go to bed and i will but i'm actually editing some reels on my phone um i've been editing for a little bit um so i'm just sitting here in my own world putting my headphones on so now I'm just gonna listen to some music on my phone while editing some reels, you know, just really chill, just to wind down and then I'm gonna head to bed in like 30 minutes or so. So, so yeah, that's basically the plan for the rest of the night. Um, yeah, but tomorrow will be a very busy day as well. Because tomorrow is Monday and I really wanna get some things done tomorrow. Seriously, I really wanna get some things done. So we're gonna see how that turns out there are a lot of challenges a lot of things i have to what the heck is that pop oh my god there's a bug there's what the heck is that pop oh my god okay i'm just sending my cat it's a weird fly and i don't wanna like pablo please eat the bug he's right there he's just looking at the thing he's not even Oh my god, please. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. What is that? Oh my god, Pablo. He's just looking at it. It's getting away, Pablo. And the bug is gone. He's just sitting here like nothing's going on. And the bug is somewhere there. But I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog right here. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye-bye.